coach, the fifth and final game can be a little bit uh, discouraging at times, but how do you assess what went down today? You know, I think that last game is really a chance for our players to play. You know, and with Fred and Pascal and Jakob not playing, that gave a big opportunity for some other guys to play. You saw grip minutes, I think, from a guy like, like Jordan Lloyd, played really well today, showed he can play a point guard position and a combo guard position. Kennedy Meeks sort of came out of his shell and, and I think had a really good productive game for us. So today was a great, a great chance for us to see the players that hadn't played a lot and really see what they can do. And it seemed like even though the game was somewhat meaningless, the guys were really into it. There's a lot of cheering on the bench. How good is that as a coach to see that? You know, it's important. I think we, we talked a lot about team camaraderie and us being together for this entire tournament, regardless of the outcome. And I think these guys are playing for contracts wherever they are, you know, professionally overseas or D-League or with us. So every game matters. And every, game, every game means something when you step on the court. And they showed that. We lost in the end. But I think they, 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 that team really, our guys really fought for victory. So I'm really proud of them. 18-9 from Kennedy. Um, he was really efficient when he was out on the floor. And, and any of the games they played. Why is he able to be so efficient? You know, I think he has really good touch around the basket, firstly, interiorly, but he can shoot the ball. He can stretch out defenses with sort of his spacing. So you saw that today, him, his ability to get outside of the three. But what stood out the most today was some of the stops he got. His activity and even guarding a guy like Tavares, his ability to sort of be physical and stop him one-on-one -on -one in the post was a really good sign. And uh, on the other side, Will Sheehy, maybe didn't, his shot wasn't falling as much as he would like, but I thought his aggressiveness w was outstanding today. What did you like from him? You know, he's a mature sort of team leader type of player for us, and, and we saw that today. Without our roster players playing, he kind of took the leadership role of the team, and, and I thought he did a really good job, especially in timeouts and even on the floor, orchestrating who was supposed to be where and kind of controlling the situation as, as, as any good leader does. Last question for you, Coach. As Summer League comes to a close, how would you rate sort of the team's performance? Were you happy? Would you, did you get everything that you wanted? To this? You know, overall, I really am. You know, I think our guys worked hard. Now, wins and losses are one thing, but I think the growth, uh, especially of our young players, was really important. You saw Fred, I think, got to another level. You saw Pascal got to another level, and Jakob as well. So that was first and foremost. That's what Summer League is about. So for those three players, I think they improved, and so f for me, that's a success. Then you look at our second tier guys. We saw a lot of good things from Alfonso McKinney and what he can be to our organization, kind of real good training grounds for them, and then these younger guys like Kennedy Meeks as well. So to me, it was a success. We would have liked to get more wins, but, uh, but that's how it goes, and we'll have to get it next year.